And ladies and gentlemen, I'm Z69. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, we've got a new battle pass uh, yet again. Uh, another battle pass. A new month equals a new battle pass equals a new tank. Yes, today we are going to have a look at the brand new battle pass tank. And that is the Rover. Yes, the Rover Learner X, Lunar X, uh, if you uh, get the camouflage uh, with it. Uh, I believe they've gone for the space theme again uh, and i think this is named after the uh the the rover you know that's gone to mars you know the uh, the, th the the vehicle that they've sent to mars uh, i believe that's what they've uh, named this after i could be completely wrong um but yeah it's it's not a bad tank it, it's nothing exciting it's nothing bad um and i think i could be wrong but i think it's kind of like a a t37 it plays like a t37 uh but a few uh, a few changes so the rover L luna x so 870 hit points the armor it has nothing it has no armor whatsoever of course it is a tier 6 light tank uh it's not going to have armor uh dpm 1932 not bad and that is a 4.9 nine seven second reload so basically a five second reload uh you can run it with calibrated shells if you wish but again the dpm will go down uh, a little bit so the penetration is 140 on your ap 180 on your apcr and 38 on your he you do an 160 alpha on your AP, 135 on your APCR, and 200 on your HE. Aim time, 3.1, and the dispersion, 0 0.335. So not the greatest. Um, it, it has 9 degrees of gun depression, and the speed is 64 kilometers per hour. So, yep, speed, nice. Uh, and overall, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's not a bad tank. It isn't a bad tank by, by all means. Um, but, yeah, again, it's just, it's nothing special. But considering what you're paying for the tank, uh, and what you're getting like I always say um, it definitely is definitely worth it I, I love the look of it uh, I do like the look of it and I do like tier 6 light tanks to be honest they are good especially those that have the the, the short reload and five seconds is not bad at all and to be honest the penetration seem, penetration seems okay it seems to get through um, even things like the ARLs frontally seems to get through them quite easy uh, so yeah the uh, the Lunar X the Rover Lunar X is what it is known for now as I've said you're not going to bounce anything so do not try to uh, to bounce any because it's not going to happen unless you get very very lucky and they hit a weak point uh, that they uh, can't penetrate. Um, even tier fives will be able to penetrate you. So do bear that in mind that you always got to have some kind of cover. Uh, now this game here. I'm uh, I'm pretty much on my on my own. I do have a tank coming behind just to, to help out. Well, I thought it was coming to help out, uh, but currently there is a lot of tanks around me. They're all at D, and all my team are at B. So I, I don't want to rush in because I know I'm just going to get deleted. So I'm I'm happy here for now. I'm happy here for now uh, because I've just got the one tank on the right side to deal with. But there are a few tanks on the left side that Mitsu I wanted to take care of, but the ARL takes care of him before and. Now I need to try and deal with this Titan because even though he's a tier 5, he can still damage me. And he's got that auto load of the two shells that is can be very, very annoying. So he's now on a reload. He has damaged my driver. Uh, God damn it. But we do manage to clear him. And it is now a 5 versus 5. So the Wolverine is now coming. And again, the Wolverine, I know it's a tier 5, but I don't really want to be dealing with him. Um, because I've not got the hit points and uh, he's he bit it again he'll be able to penetrate me nice and easy um, so that's the thing that you need to be careful of when you are driving these uh, tier, even tier 6 tanks with no armor you still have to be very very careful because you're still going to get bullied by tier 5 tanks now unfortunately because my driver is uh, damaged I'm unable to get around but I do manage to get a lucky lucky bounce from this guy and we do manage to clear him so it is currently a the there goes the kv1s so it is now a four versus three 1300 damage my driver's still damaged so i can't uh, i can't repair that at the minute i've got no repair kit for another 11 seconds um so i'm not going uh, at maximum speed unfortunately and i want to get to these guys i want to get behind these guys very very quickly so the hellcat is there i do manage to get behind him i'm going to get a nice 250 alpha into his rear uh, the t1 heavy is gone 
<coughs> excuse me, but I do manage to clear that guy, and that just leaves the Panzer four, uh, the Panzer five four left. Um, so yeah, I mean, eighteen hundred damage. I, I can I can take a shot now from this Panzer five four, so I'm not really too bothered. So we're going to get there, and we are going to get our fourth kill for nineteen hundred damage. I mean, again, you're going to have these games. You're not going to. You might have that lucky game, you know, with uh, where you get a lot of damage. Uh, but most of these most of these battle pass tanks, especially the light tanks, I mean, there is nothing special about them. Um, they're not it's not overpowered like some of the battle pass tanks out there um it could do the job but you're not gonna get sort of three thousand damage or two and a half k damage every game you are gonna sort of average around the 1600 to 1800 damage in in these tanks um especially when you are coming up against tier fives uh but overall it is definitely worth the package it's definitely worth the uh, the money uh because of all the other benefits all the other benefits that you get and just for a couple of pound on a battle pass yeah definitely worth it in my opinion so next up again we are in a tier 5 game there are a lot of light tanks and a lot of medium tanks so you can see even when we're up against tier 5s I, I don't want to play front line I don't want to play front line because I know I'm just going to get wrecked with these guys and the worst thing you want is uh, is quite embarrassing when you get wrecked by a tier 5 tank and, and that will happen that can happen there are tanks out there that will be able to wreck you I mean KV-1s uh, the KV-2 two zeros uh, t1 heavies there's loads of tanks out there that will be able to just wreck you uh, so i'm trying to get the blind shots on this guy not sure if he's even still there or if he's made a move but we're going to shoot anyway because you never know uh, and i am the king of blind shots so that's why i was going for that shot so i'm trying to spot these guys now i know that the cromwell's there the leopard comes up i bring him down to a one shot so i get a lucky bounce again as i've said you're not going to bounce anything unless you get lucky and uh, these two games I did get lucky to bounce these shots. So the Sherman's up there. The Sherman is a tier six. So of course, tier six is I always try uh, and clear as early as possible, as quickly as I can. And there is the Cromwell. And uh, the Cromwell, again, it's got fantastic DPM, but no armor. Uh, and if I can deal with him, uh, I want to clear him as well. Now, I am a bit scared of the VK-30 here because he does actually have some armor. Uh, but I am getting shot from the back. So I know that there is now tanks over there. And you can see the Ranger there. And that is a light tank that I do really, really like. I do really like the Ranger. Much more than this, in my opinion. If I had to choose between this and the Ranger all day long, I would choose the Ranger. Now, I am going to make a move. It is a 6 versus is for i just want to clear this uh, this wolverine here managed to do like three damage to him and now deal with this the uh, vk3001 uh so again yeah again we, we've still bounced 320 damage which is pretty cool uh for a tank with no armor whatsoever and it just leaves two tanks left the wolverine up there who is now a one shot and this ranger who is running my way so i am able to do a little bit more damage i do get the ram and i'm trying to get the last shot but I mean, look how troll this ice is. I shoot him in the, pretty much the only place that won't pen him. And I, and I bounce him. So yeah, my, my fault there. Uh, but overall, it's it's an okay tank. Nothing special. You're not getting a special tank, uh, but you're getting a decent tank that can do its job. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. I'm Meadsy69, and I'll catch you all soon. Bye-bye. We'll be right